You're doing good. Be been busy big time with school. I hope school is treating you well, though. I've been busy big, big time with my eye. working and dadding. Years since I had seen a film or TV show. Maybe I could take a little break from my quest and watch the film on the tape. As the video started, I was surprised to see the old man. Okay. Hello, hello. He bellowed in his familiar tone. This is I'm just glad it's treating you well. 107C. He continued as he read from a clipboard. This unit still has three major issues. One. The shell is so incredibly thick that the whole machine is still far too large and heavy. 72 two, tons. The missile we just wrecked it though. Too unpredictable and aggressive. And three. The trade-off between power and intelligence is far too great. I think the military capabilities would be far too dangerous in the wrong hands. I think we would be best to push forward with the Innocence Project. No worries, Decky. Thank you. I didn't really understand a word of what Enjoy your night, my dude. And I was slightly disappointed that he had recorded over the film, but it was nice to see the old man's face again. He recorded over one of Horace's films. Sad times. Poor little dude. Right. I wasn't sure what was going um, on. Um, what? Suddenly, inanimate objects started to come. Okay, so I can't jump on them, so we just gotta make a move. We just gotta platform as best as I possibly can, which is not great. The. So, oh. Okay. At least these boxes move quite slowly. Okay, and they don't really give me a lot of time in between the shots to time it, but that's okay. We're not being chased anymore. So that's fine. We're not in we're not in grave danger. And we uh we got all the junk in this room. Now there's scissors coming at me? Okay, they're staying where they are, so that's fine. Can I kill them with this? Yeet? No. Maybe. There we go. Okay, so I can kill stuff. And I can I get rubbish with this? No. They go back to where they started when I throw them. That's strange. I don't really... Oh my god, that moose head. Okay, let's, let's wreck it. Okay, if I throw trash cans, I still get rubbish to pick up. That's cool. At least we get some... So I've got to remember that. I should pick up trash cans in order to get some rubbish. I feel weird calling them trash cans. I feel... Decidedly un-British when I say that. Okay, so can I hit it when it's on its way back? What? Musical Phoenix! What just happened? Thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing? Oh my gosh, indeed. How are you? How was your stream? What did you stream? Tell me all the things. You were playing COD Black Ops 4. How was that? Tell me all the things. Oh, I just got damaged. Oh, but I can I can use that. I can eat the uh, the damage in order to get across here. Crap. I'm safe. You literally just came back. Welcome back, Versi. Please tell me, Musical Phoenix, how was your stream? Welcome, Raiders. How was everything going? Tell me all the things about the stream. I need to know. And thank you again for the raid. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get killed. Okay, so that didn't work out in my favor. But we're we're learning a bit of the uh, the kind of platforming mechanics here, so let's do this. Not bad. Finally finished the Black Ops 4 DLC Easter Egg Hunt, ending the story for the past 11 years. Sad ending, but all over the stream was good. Hold on, what? Why is it a? Uh, I don't I don't know much about Black Ops 4. You're gonna have to help me as a uh, a complete Call of Duty scrub. Okay, so now do we take damage? We take damage, but that's something because we can get through here, then through here, then we got a slide. <sighs> Shit. Oh, man. There's got to be some way I can do this, or am I just like trying to do something earlier than I should be able to do it? F, indeed. You stopped at Black Ops 1. Yeah, like, I played uh, Modern Warfare 2. 
And then I kind of just got to the end of like my being able to play Call of Duty. I'm just, I'm not good at those kind of games. But zombies is quite fun. Did we just kill the thing? Please tell me we killed the thing that we needed to kill. Ah, oh, we did it. Maybe we can make it this time. We've killed the uh, the scissors. Now we're going to try and kill these guys. 11 years of the story came out of a close of the final end story and was still a zombie story. No spoilers, but the story has been amazing and finally comes to a complete end. Okay, cool. I didn't know there was like an ongoing story with zombies. I just thought it was like a thing. Oh, shit. Okay, so... Oh, my God, I made it. <gasps> okay, that slide was too early. Please don't kill me. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got the stuff. And we got this guy so we can make it out. That's cool. So this game, right, that we're playing is Horace. It's, um... Like a... Game that's been made by... One or two guys... In... Six years. Let's say six, seven years. And it's like being, I suppose, a labor of love for this guy. I don't want to speak on his, um, his behalf. But everything that I've heard about this game kind of, um, likens it to how I, how I felt about Nier Automata when it came out, which is that, like, it's going to be a very well regarded game in the future. But at the moment, like, it just doesn't have the recognition it maybe deserves. And it's strange, but it's like, a, for a platformer, it's very, like, mechanically in-depth. The uh, the art style is cool. The music is cool. But clearly a lot of work went into this game. You know, like, it shows. But at the moment, like, our, our kind of quest is we're Horace. We've got to clean up a million, um, a million pieces of junk. Did you have a good stream though? What are you um what are you gonna be streaming next now you finished that musical Phoenix? What's your plan? Do I oh what do I do? Do these things hurt me? Can I just swing? I can swing to a degree. Will that be able to get me all the way though? I'm so scared of this. Right, so we're just gonna go for it. We made it. That was a really tight jump. And what's this all about? More Black Ops 4 tomorrow. That or Black Ops 3. Dead by Daylight or Rocket League. Nice. Depends on how things go. What do you, um... Like, I've not played... Is Black Ops 4 the one that's just coming out? I feel like... I know nothing about games, so I can, can tell you about indie games now, but when it comes to like a, a big title like Call of Duty, I've like, I've like completely lost the, uh, the ability to know what's going on. Call myself a gamer. Although Call of Duty games are fun. Okay, so we got some more rubbish. We gotta pick this thing up, because that will open the way for us. We continue along. Came out last year. It's ending this with a DLC. There's a new one out soon, but not for you. Different developer. Is it, um, who's the developer of this one? Because I know there's like, I don't even know if it's still a thing. Like there was Treyarch, there was Infinity Ward, there was, um, Sledgehammer. I don't know who else. But I wasn't a, as big a fan of the, uh, the Treyarch ones. And the Treyarch ones are the, uh, the Black Ops ones. Whereas I like the uh, the Infinity Ward gods. The ones you follow, mainly not keen on the others. I kind of quite like that, that like, even though it's like a... A similar series, it's still different. It's cool. Even though Infinity Ward best cards. In my, uh, my humble opinion. As someone that's just been saying, I know nothing about Call of Duty. And also I haven't played most of the Treyarch ones. So maybe the Treyarch ones are awesome. I'm just basing this on the fact that I played Black Ops 1 and I uh I was pretty bad at. So I'm I'm blaming the uh Oh Christ! I'm blaming the tools. I'm a bad workman. No, you're a tool, Brinna Butter. 
How how dare you? Oh my god, I just got squished. I got squished. Pardon? Don't you say no. I'm being taunted by the mother of my child. How dare she? Alright, so let's go this way. Oops, and then this way. Oops. Oh my gosh. Right, run, run, run. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> this is so difficult. If you're bad, just blame the game. Exactly. Yeah, thank you for the raid. I'm like, I'm like, you play these Call of Duty games. So I'm going to disagree with you, but thank you so much for the raid. It was a crazy raid. And I'm glad that you had a good stream. Cheers. Right, so let's... Let's get good. Um, this way? No. No, I can't jump across. This game is so, so, uh... Intense. Is there, oh my god, it gives me a shield when um, when I've failed a certain amount of times. That's a nice accessibility thing. I was um chatting about like accessibility options with Tabby, and I'm like I'm generally of the uh, the get good kind of mindset. Like when um talking about Dark Souls, it shows that you're bad exactly. But if I if I if I chose to use it, then I would be the bad kid. But she was saying that she's really excited for Death Stranding because it gives you like um the option to just kind of chill and play at your own pace, and you can completely avoid the combat if you want to and stuff like that. And I'm just like, but the combat suit seems like a lot of the fun to me. But then some people like just experiencing a story. I'm just I'm in two minds on it, and most of my minds are geek good. Right, so can I jump on this? And ride it across. I can. Okay. So that's fine. Even though it seems like it's e even though it seems like it's evil, <laughs> um, we can we can do a high jump of it if we time right too. So that's cool. So if I go this way, then I can get one of these, and I can get a shield. Boom. Done. Up time. Two hours and thirty-four minutes. I've only had one pee break in that time. Are you proud of me? How much longer am I on? Um, I was thinking about keeping going until 11. Because I really want to, you know, like, see how far I can get in this game. Can I go the other way? You're proud? Why'd you ask, Tabby? Also, I like that you can kind of go off on different directions. On these platforming sections. Whole two and a half hours without being. Well, I peed once. Awesome, this game looks cute, but you've been listening to music just so, so far, just cleaning. The music's really listenable. Hey, Soul of Lothric, how are you doing? Hook, line and sinker. Thank you for the follow. How are you? Right, so we've got to go around this way. And then pull this thing out. So we can kind of advance further. Oh. There's, there's me jumping straight into something. You asked how long I... Oh, bless you. Well, I hope you get too soon, Tabby. But don't rush yourself. You've got, like, you've got real life stuff you need to do. Is there going to be more rubbish in the other direction? So should I go that way to be able to do the thing? Oh, thank you. Well, I appreciate you coming to check me out. And, um... I didn't want to make, like, a song and dance about it, but I think I'm, I've added you to, like, my, my people that I'll do daily. Because Stream Crux is cool, and I like, you know, like it's... I don't have a lot of time at the moment with a little one and stuff to be able to watch all the streamers that I want to stream, but I do get to, like, um, you know, like, meet new streamers and stuff and find new people through Crux. But Crux is cool. Don't j dad joke the new people. I'm sorry. But no one is, uh, no one is immune to being dad butted. Is a good bottle. Oh, no. Okay. Right. Tiny jump? Yeah. Okay. So we got some more rubbish. And we need to get all the rubbish. I can't believe we got a million to clear up. I don't even know if there's a million in this game world. You'd assume there'd be more than a million. You're really enjoying it. Me too. It's a nice, like, you know what I like the most about it is the, um, like, the, the community for one, but the, um, the devs 
and the staff of stream crocs are all really friendly and um like say if you've got a suggestion they'll most of the suggestions i've seen given they'll implement or look for like a reason to make whatever you suggested better like they're actively developing it and doing it with the community rather than just kind of being like we've got a product in there here you go getting some buffer issues no worries do what you need to do my dude oops oh christ i almost i almost uh ate it then i feel kind of bad about cleaning up the uh the robots they look a little bit too much like him poor horace if i'm feeling bad about this he's got to be feeling even worse he clearly is a robot with feelings. So let's um, let's do this and then throw this here. We got some stuff. We got a, a shield, so that's nice. Let's keep going. Okay, so let's avoid the water because the water will kill us. Do these lights. Why are there floating chainsaws? Honestly, the... Uh, the up is down stuff, like, really messes with my, like... Because you need to press up to hold on to something. Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna die getting that shield, so it's not even bother. Let's see if we can make it through without the shield. Let's just try... Making sure, even though... Up is down and down is up. Floating chainsaws is your aesthetic. That's a heck of an aesthetic. Mine's bouncing washing machines. Are they washing machines? Whatever they are. That's my aesthetic. 60,000 junk. How close are we? We're at 61,780 61, of a million. Um, it's all good. So I was just saying that um, the the devs and the staff of Stream Crux, so like they're very open to suggestions on the Discord. Like they're, uh, they're really like actively building a product rather than just being like you know we've developed this thing here done you know they're um they're actually like listening to the people that use it trying to make it better for everyone like taking people's feedback into account and i think that's what you really need to do for something like that because there's been there's been websites kind of like stream crocs before where people could upvote each other and stuff like that yeah yeah i fully recommend like i met them at um at twitch london um and they were just you know like the people i met were nice the people that are involved in the Discord or involved as staff on the site. But yeah, if you have suggestions, generally if it's like a, a good one or it's an implementable suggestion, they'll uh, look for a way to get it done. They'll at very least like pitch it to their devs. Nothing better than devs passionate about their game. Well, this is um this is a website I'm talking about. I'm talking about Stream Crooks. But the uh, the developer who made this game is definitely passionate about his game too. He um. Are you right, Britna, but are you going to bed? Oh, hold on, I've just got to give uh, give Britna some love. 12 hours cleaning, that's crazy. So, one sec. Yeah, come here. I love you too. I will. I'll, um, I've, I've got alarm set, and I've got an alarm set on my phone as well, so I'll wake up. Sleep tight, baby. Love you too. Uh, Tabby sends her love. And she says she loves you too. So... <laughs> My mic's that sensitive. Well, at least that was a, uh, a winking emote. And not like a dance game. What's this guy? Batteries come in all the shapes and sizes. Um, what do I do with this? Oh, I take it with me. That's cool. Okay, so, um, yeah, like you were saying. Saying, Tabby. What can I do with this? Can I eat it? I can't throw it. That's, what do I do? Oh my god, okay, so that helps me, uh, helps me jump. Right, so the, um, this game was developed over, like, six years by one man who did pretty much all the creative work. 
and um, another guy who helped with the uh, the coding, but he was going to do it all on all on his, his own Steam. But like the the coding was taking up like the most time out of everything. It was like the the thing that he said that he was yeah for seven years. Sorry, sorry, Paul. I missed a year. So if you if you want to know about a, uh, a developer passionate about his craft, he's um he's in the chat at the moment. Coding is hard. I have no experience with it. But um, can you ask? Um, I think probably through Demon Grunty. Um, I couldn't tell you off off the top of my head, Soul of Lothric. I'd have to have a look through like my internet history. I'd have to work it out. Everything is hard. True. I'm just trying to improve consistently. Do you mean at streaming? I know that feel. I'd like um I think that's like the main thing as well, is like, you know, when it comes to these kind of uh things, like streaming is a creative endeavor and um improving is important like you know looking at yourself and being like what can i do to to do this better you know you know what i'm saying damn it i said i'm you're all good you just got dad by that's all <laughs> but that's awesome what kind of stuff do you stream soul generally i uh, because like um i'm sorry like I, d I don't remember a fan my brain is like basically mush when I'm streaming. <laughs> like, I forget everything. I would forget my name if I, um, if I, if I could. Right, can we jump on this thing? We can. New dad mush. Oh my god. It's really like, you know, dads don't really have baby brain, but we do. You know, like, it's just, oh god, I got wrecked. Oh, so the elevator's damaged, huh? Right, let's, let's be good. Like to see people exactly how they found you. There's a site that's getting more recognition with his direct through Twitch. It would have been through Stream Crux. I just, I like browsing that site, you know? That probably would have been it. I like, you know, I browse people that I know and then like look at the, uh, the streams that they know and stuff. I just, I like the discoverability of it. That's all. But tell me, what kind of stuff do you stream? What do you do? Okay. Oh no, the the rubbish is in the water, so we can't do anything about it. We'll uh, we'll get wrecked if we try. Do I want to go? Maybe I'll go back on myself because I want to get all the rubbish I can. There's there's no reason to like miss some if I can avoid it. There we go. Oh oh oh. Okay, don't die. Don't die, but. Right now, you're streaming Remnant until you 100% it. Normally, it's Dark Souls 3. I could... Uh, your, uh, your name did a... Uh, I don't know if Lothric is a character in Dark Souls. I'm saying that like I know. It's been a while since I've played a Souls game. Okay, so hold on. Um, we want to go this way and then this way. Let's throw our trash can. Let's get the thing. So we got this and this rubbish. Um, so Remnant, how are you finding it? And normally it's Dark Souls 3, Destiny 2. I've not played Destiny 2. I've played a little bit of Dark Souls 3, but uh, Dark Souls 1's the only Dark Souls game that I've uh, finished. What do I normally stream? So I stream a lot of different things. At the moment, um, Horus, which is... Another VCR made me wonder if there were any more recordings of the old man. I rummaged behind the TV and was not surprised to find two more dusty old okay. tapes. One just had hours of some strange sport. <laughs> is that all the same sport? Because if it is, that's an amazing sport. Hello, hello, came his voice again. Right, this is urgent. Cancel the nanobot program. Okay, that's why I recognize the name. To be stopped. Contain the remaining units in these corrosion proof canisters. Although I'm sure it's obvious, the old man continued. We have discovered mm. that they are essentially unstoppable and can form a controlling intelligence around any object. Hmm. So that explains that. Why there's like floating objects. That's really cool. I like that it's kind of got like a rogue element to it. I say more. Like the the random well, generation. That explained why everything moved with minds of their own. I'd never been in this part of the house before, but I figured I would get back to more familiar surroundings once I made it through these laboratories. 
I want a dancing toaster too. So, um, what were we saying? Um, what do I normally stream? So I stream generally story-based games. Um, at the moment that's been, um, recently like Danganronpa, um, Judgment, which is like a, a Yakuza game or a game in the, uh, the world of Yakuza. Um, lots of different stuff. If you check out my stream crux page, <laughs> like, um, it does, it does kind of say, but, um, I appreciate you asking. I tend to go for story games. Sometimes, like, different, um, interesting indies that come out. Like, I, I like the idea of, um, being able to advocate for games that I enjoy and appreciate. Like, because I think it's important to. You know, like, especially when they're, like, different games. Or, like, games that I find interesting. Judgment is very awesome. I, I really love that game. Oh, crap. You looked into Judgment, but you're unsure about it. It's really good. It's, um, like, the combat and it's fun. It's a fun game. Oh, wrecked. Oh, okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We need to get that last bit. That last little robot guy. But yeah, the Crane Machine minigames are fun. We get to catch cute cats. Um, I'm trying to think what other, um, what other games. There's, there's a few coming up. Like, I'll be playing some more, uh, newer games to the stream. Like, games that I can't remember the name of. The Surge 2. The Surge 2, um, I got and I'm interested in streaming. Um, well, that's like a, a Soulsborne game, so maybe I'll, uh, do terrible. You know and can look, but we've been talking about you. You tell in the past, you don't ask enough questions, so you're working on it. You don't have to, it's all good. Just, you know, I asked about you. So I don't feel like you were talking about you too much. Right, let's, uh, let's just do that. <laughs> that was a real, uh, a real gamer moment. But yeah, also ask as many questions as you want. Either or. Just chill. I agree. My mods are smart people. But yeah, I can't, um, can't think otherwise. Like, there's, there's very few games that, like, I, I come back to frequently, which is, like, a, I suppose, a, bes a blessing and a curse on Twitch. That's a good one. What got me into streaming? <laughs> um, so, I wanted to do it for a really long time. Like, maybe since about 2012, but I wanted to stream Halo. Um, like, there were people like Walshy and Ninja that did it. And um, it was just like something new and different. And I was just like, hey, I really want to do this. But I didn't actually start until about 2018. Maybe I tried it like a couple of times in the meantime. Like, played Overwatch once and Resident Evil 7 once. And they were just, they were just bad. Bad, unwatchable streams. And um, I don't know, like... I just kind of kept going um, in 2018 because I realized how much of like a creative endeavor it can be, how much you can improve. Um, like, oh gosh, Ether. The nanobots activated snake.exe. Nano machine, son. Oh, hold on, natural snake. Destroy the humanoid. Oh no. Um, but yeah, like, I, I used to play in a, play in a band and, um, play music. I don't as much anymore. Oh my god, they're gonna become Snake. <laughs> that's a, that's actually an adorable snake. Okay, I see what we're doing here. I think. Let's run away from it first whilst we, uh, whilst we talk. Oh, there's fire. Okay, fire will do me in. Pay attention to the fire. So, um... I don't even know if I'm, what I'm doing is right. I guess it kind of is. I want to avoid the face of the snake, right? I probably could have just jumped straight onto the front of the snake. But instead we're doing this. So, I'm no good at talking and chatting at the same time. Or talk, I'm no good at talking and chatting. I'm no good at playing. Playing and chatting, it is a boss. So, um, yeah, like I used to play um, music. 
and I got more into streaming because it's like a similar creative endeavor to music. But with music, like, it was really difficult to get everyone to kind of stick around and continue making music. Like, you know, a drummer would quit or whatever would happen. And, um, oh shit, okay. Let's see, can we pull, oh no. Hold on, bullet hell? Wrecked, okay, continue on. I've got no health this time though, so we gotta, we gotta <laughs> hope we can deal with the snake. The upside down is really difficult to deal with. I keep jumping too early as well. Oh, it's Cornish Knight. How are you doing, my dude? There we go. And so now what do we do? What's that little snake down there? Should I just... I'm just going to see if I can run straight at the snake. There we go. That's much easier. Did we win? Did we win the video game? Clearly not. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, stop being bad at games. Oh my god, that, that's four snakes. <sighs> oh my fuck. The, the bullet hell sequence of this. This is, <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm sorry. I, I really can't read chat right now. Um, let's see. Can we, can we do it? Can we survive? We got hurt. Did we die? We didn't die. Oh, my bullet hell days. <laughs> right, we can do this. Um, at least we have shields. And there's, there's... You know what? That's kind of good as well. That there's, like, some sort of semblance of progress saving. So, like, you know, each time... <sighs> Um, each time we try, we don't have to do the same thing over and over again. I'm sorry. If anyone, you know, like, informs me through my, my stream deck right now that I need to talk to chat, I will murder them. Oh my gosh, okay. So we got, we got our things back. This is quite intense. The music's intense too, so let's, uh, see if we can do it in time. Boom. We did it. We did the snake. That wasn't too difficult. I mean, I died a bunch. Or did I die a bunch? I think I died once properly. It's hard to really tell. Exclamation page. Now you do it. Why didn't it work? Yeah. Oh, I'm good. I'm good, um, Mr. Mr. Cornish Knights. Uh, thank you for um, thank you for asking. I didn't mean to uh, to not see what you were doing, but there was there was a lot going on. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been a pretty pretty alright day. Work could have been better, but it's nice to be able to chill and stream, you know. That's what I'm all about. How about you? How was your day, man? What have you been up to? It was pretty intense at the time. Am I going in the right direction? Let's basketball. Okay, I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm doing this way, way badly. There we go. Boom. So smooth. Nothing but net. That's what they call me. Virtute nothing but met net streamer boy. Uh, can we slide? Um, that seems like a bad idea. Day was good. Streamed a bit earlier. What did you, uh, what did you stream? How did it go? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, at least we got a shield. That's too big a name for Twitter. I don't know if it is. I forget, uh, honestly, I forget that I'm supposed to be doing my Twitter name all the time. It's been, has it been Virtue the Streamy Boy for a while? Or like the Wild Streamer Saw? I can't remember. I need to get better at that. I can't even remember what I said to uh, to recreate it. Someone please, uh, <laughs> someone please tell me what I said so I can add it to my Twitter. No worries, man. Thank you for dropping in, Soul of Lothric. It's nice to meet you. May your uh, your streams be good, and your uh, your Soulsborn adventures be plentiful. And also, thank you for. Uh... Oh crap! I wasn't paying attention. I was reading chat again. Thank you for uh, mentioning Stream Crux. It's nice to meet more awesome people for it. Oh my god, what do I do? How do I get back on the list there? Oh, I see. Okay, so there was those. I, this is what happens. I don't pay enough attention. Oh my god, this game. This game isn't like as nails hard as people say, but it's cer certainly difficult. There's certainly difficulty to it. Like that. I died a million times. We gotta do this. I want to, uh, I want to beat this sequence. 
I will not let it destroy me. Right, so we jump over to the lift. The lift rises. Now, if I pay attention and not get destroyed by these saws, we might... I mean, we got two extra lives anyway. So we should be good. But then I think I had two extra lives the last time, and look what happened there. So... I see. So th these even give me, like, a, a decent amount of time to be able to react. I still get hurt. Okay, so... We take it slow. We're sensible. We avoid all the, uh, the dangers. Now, what I think I'm supposed to do is go the right way up. Because the lift has stopped. And then jump off the lift. Boom. Done. Now... Do I go through the door rather than go back on myself? Let's, um, let's do that. I kind of want to explore all the things, though. I wonder exactly how difficult this game gets. Because it's one of the things about Celeste. And, like, as much as I love Meat Boy, like, games that are difficult, platforming and the ones that make me, uh, I have to do the same sequence over and over again. I enjoy them, but also I'm not. I'm not good. Okay, so we can get a crowbar or something along those lines. That's cool. Right, so now we jump through. You found a game which you might enjoy. You will leave a link in my Discord. Thank you, dude. Oh shit, we. I just got wrecked because I was reading chat again. I'm definitely open to game suggestions, man. Thank you for uh, for thinking of me. Okay, so we took damage then because I was rushing. So here we go. We gotta not only avoid that, but we gotta land on there. Cool. Then we move the right way up. Oh shit, shit, not the, that way. Then we move this way up, and then done. Fine. I'm wondering also if the people that said this game is super difficult, you know, like. Like, unreasonably so, whether or not they're, uh, you know, they're just games journalists. Because, <laughs> I mean, that's very possible. Maybe this game, this game is, uh, certainly more difficult than the, uh, the intro to Cuphead. Okay, so, I don't walk into the fire. The fire kills me. I can't walk into the water, because the water... What? Oh, it's a slippery wall. That's uh, not water. Okay. Fine. I'm really intrigued. But I definitely appreciate it. Look at these stompy, stompy, stompy boots. This game is incredibly cute. Okay, so I just got wrecked. But at least now I know. Slippery wall. Climb, climb, climb. Jump across. Then take it slowly, duck underneath this. Cool. Fine. Why is this place on fire? <laughs> this place is, is... This mansion is one, huge, and also inexplicably on fire. Just because, you know, like they were just like, what can we do to make this mansion better? I don't know, slippery wall. Oh god, okay, let's uh, leave that one. Let's try again. Oops. I'm taking it slowly. Fine. Slow and steady. Wins the slippery wall race. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, this game's not so hard. Is it really that hard? Lol, lol, lol. Games journalists. Uh, how many deaths? 91. Fucking hell. What am I going to do? I'm going to go work for Kotaku. Let's do this. Come on. I will not be disgraced. <laughs> I will not have to turn my my gamer credentials in. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I will be a gamer for major grunge. The gamer to rule us all. Right. So when this thing goes over my head, we duck it. Done. Then go. Now I want this rubbish, but there's a. Uh, a shoe that goes down and up. Okay, so it goes quite far. I thought it wouldn't wouldn't go quite that far. 
Oops. There we go. Fuck my life. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're getting all the rubbish. Rubbish got. Rubbish get. Eriku. Thank you so much for the sub. How are you doing? Welcome. Did we make it through? We made it through onto the other side. Oh my god. <laughs> he could have just done that. We'll claim it on the insurance as accidental damage. Is there insurance? As well. Past the apocalypse? I explained to them that I had found some of the old man's home video. Thank you so much for the sub. Had shot me. The dirty old bugger. <laughs> but I didn't know what he meant. Oh bless you, so you sweet summer child. About the nanobots. And Mr. Silton said we needed to get our sharpest minds on the case. Not you, dipshit. He asked <laughs> Mr. Preston, we need to rescue Heather and her mum. I wasn't sure Good what use Mr. Of dipshit. Silton meant by rescue, but I thought I would leave them to clear up. Oh my god. The weather felt cold and ominous as we made our way back outside. I've been on this chair for too long. Before we meet the others, I got a numb ass. Help me get my stolen van back, explained Mr. Silton. It's going to be dangerous, and we need someone expend uh, dependable. <laughs> the equipment was heavy, but I was happy to help pack the large boxes until Preston returned with what Mr. Silton called the mean machine. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's such a ride. Honestly, though, I would, I would, fuck it, I would give it a lot of things to ride around a milk cart. That would be so fun. All we are is Dust and Shadow, Quintus Horatius Flaccus. Chapter 5, Mr. Silson's Van. Mr. Preston seemed even more anxious than usual. At first, I thought he just needed to use a It's because he's with a robot. Mr. Silton explained that there are oh, I see. Members lived around here. Somehow the money went missing when we robbed that post office, he continued. For some reason they thought we'd taken it, but, as he put it, why would we live in such a dump if we had a load of money? Although Does money have value in a society? Me, it certainly didn't calm Mr. Preston, who suggested we gotta move on. Don't worry, we'll be a matter of minutes. We just need to send Mr. Chips up there to have a look. Don't call me Mr. Mr. Chips. He pointed to a window high up the building. Is that catchphrase? With a smile. Off you go then. He does look a bit like Mr. Chips. <laughs> That's excellent. You know when you when you get hit by a reference you'd forgot all about. That is this uh this game quite frequently, Mr. Chips. That's funny. Man, I watched a lot of catchphrase when I was a kid. I was a big fan of that show. I've always quite liked puzzles and like, like puzzle TV shows. Right, so let we can't go that way. That's it's good, but it's not right. Exactly. Man, I wouldn't say my uh, my memory of that show is vivid. But oh my god, poor guy. And I I genuinely like how his like running style has changed since uh, since getting a hat. And like the animation changed on his uh, his feet since getting getting the shoes and stuff. Like it's this game has like a lot of um, attention to little details, and uh, that's that's where the devil is. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> it's important. It kind of gives the uh, the game and its world like a sense of weight. Right. So we're gonna. Uh, we're going to try something that might not work out in our favour. No, that didn't work out in our favour, but we tried it. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing then. Should I, um, should I be looking for a doorway? But we experimented, and now 92 deaths. I like the characters in this game too, even though they're all like, they're all narrated by Horace. Which is quite an interesting way of doing it. It's like, you know, he's telling a story of what happened, so I kind of want to see what the the payoff is to all of this. But it's, um, 
it's cool because it's like a text-to-speech voice, but he gives like... I don't know if it's through the game itself, but it feels like the characters have like a, a good sense of character. Ah, there we go. The man didn't look like a thief, but maybe his striped jumper was in the wash. Mr. Silton was certain he'd stolen the van, though, so I watched for a moment. But then I heard Mr. Silton climbing Although the characters have good personality. I was going to speak, but Mr. Silton held a finger up to his lips. He looked incredibly serious for a moment. One swift movement, and we were inside. Nice. Mr. Silton whispered that I was to go one way while he went another. Why are you whispering? We need that crowbar. Where are we going? Find the keys to my van, Robocop, said Mr. Silton through gritted teeth. How dare we? <laughs> How dare we? How dare he? <laughs> Oh my god, I can't even speak English. How dare he? We're a sweet and kind robot. Don't call us Robocop. Why is he so mean? We didn't choose it. We didn't choose this life. The life of crime. Am I supposed to be doing this or am I making it harder for myself? I feel like I'm definitely making this harder for myself. Okay, cool. What if I'd have went the other way? Can I just jump across? Okay. Uh, then I could have just went that way. Oh well. But we got all the uh, the rubbish. Yeah. The piles of junk were all wired into the mains. I suppose it was a good deterrent against thieves. Oh my. Okay. Yeah. That's true. But. It's still, I don't know, maybe I'm reading it wrong. I get like a sense of personality through like the the kind of robotic reading of everyone. Maybe it's just like the writing's good enough to carry even with like monotone kind of, or like not monotone, but mostly monotone robo, robo voices. Like you still get a sense of character through the characters. So maybe it's just uh, the writing being <laughs> good enough to kind of carry that. I don't know. You know, like I'm I'm not smart enough to uh to analyze things. I'm just smart enough to say silly things and forget what I said every five seconds. How are we doing on this? We're almost a hundred thousand junk we're getting there. It was a comment of the devil being in the details. Yeah. True. You're um you are a smart tabigator when it comes to this kind of stuff as well. You would be, um... Good when it came to, like, giving critical readings of video games, I think. I don't know if that's the kind of thing he'd want to do, though. Okay, so we're gonna get wrecked doing this, but let's go for it. Yeah, okay. Split in half! Poor little guy! Okay, how do we time this? Okay, not like that. <laughs> okay. There we go. I don't know. Do you need, do you need theory or do you just need opinions? Like, do you just need to, like, analyze something through your own, um, your own lens, you know what I mean? I don't know if you need theory to be able to do that. You know literature. You know? You know what I'm saying? Tabby reviews. Oh my god, I just got squished. Oh my god, there's, like, all these different death animations. They just made me feel real bad. Opinion should be backed by more reliable opinion. I mean, I suppose, but you know, like, you make your opinion reliable by creating, right? Is that not how it works? You know, like, you, you make... You make an op opinion credible by providing content. 
that people then lend their credibility to. You don't necessarily need theory in order to do that. Like, someone had to make the theory to begin with, right? Or am I wrong? Because <laughs> I might be wrong. But you know what? I back up my own opinions. Not academically, at least, unless you're super good. Um, I don't know. I know little about academics. I don't know if you can tell. I am no smart boy. Okay, so... Oh my god, okay. Building on the other ascent. I'm sure you know enough. I believe in you. Critic Gator. Um, I don't really... I don't know why you would say that. <laughs> like, either way. Thank you. What a weird thing to come in and say. Yeah, no, I agree. Cheers, I 100% I stand by that decision. <laughs> what are you stuffing your face with? Good mod. I'm proud. So many keys. It's <laughs> all of them. But are they are they junk keys? Are they count as junk too? Lasagna. Yeah. I mean, like it happens sometimes. I'm just not a fan of it happening. Everyone has two. Uh... You know that idea, do you? You've banned him from Blazer's stream more than ten times. Damn. It's an interesting troll. Give him that. But it's just a strange thing to say in trolling. And also, lasagna. Be a BRB getting more. I'm so envious. I would like... All the... The, 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 the lasagna. Please. I don't get to eat lasagna very much because uh, Britain doesn't eat it. We got the keys. Okay, so is that what we needed? Now you're super hungry. You're a, uh, a man that likes good food too, though, Cornish Knight. Whereas right, so there's no doors in this room. So I just I went back on myself for no reason. That's so strange, Versi. What an odd, <laughs> odd thing to try and troll streamers with. I don't even know what to make of that. I keep dying because I'm trying to read chat. Oh well. I love that sound effect. Oof. What just happened? I heard the gunshot. I knew I needed to go back and find Mr. Silton. What happened with Mr. Silton? Yeah, someone coming to your stream while playing armor. And go AFK streamer and leave. Strange. I've only, like, I think this week has had more bans than really, like, the last year of streaming. I very rarely ban people because I just want people to be able to say what they want generally anyway. I don't know. No idea, Mr. Cornish Knight. I found um, your armor stream quite interesting, though, the one that I tuned into. Is it like like you're doing a doing like a reenactment? I, I couldn't really like get what the <laughs> the purpose was, you know, not in a bad way. I think I'm just dumb. It was a bit of a shit show. Was it the one that I tuned into? 